guys. So when we translate that, uh, all that talent, ability, and everything, but match it up against the opponents, you know, everyone looks at the bookend of the schedule, which is, of course, a huge matchup against Notre Dame to start things off. And then you got the game against the defending Big Ten champions at the end in Michigan. Those would seem to be the obvious choices. So I'll start us off here, Pat. Uh, the concern with Notre Dame is that they're really talented and good as well. But internally, the first thing that jumps out at me about the Notre Dame game is Jim Knowles. I trust him, trust his ability, but it's the first time on the field. You know, there's not a warm up, there's not two warm ups, and there are no preseason games. And it's a talented bunch of guys with a really good defensive coordinator, but this is the first time it all has to come together against a quality opponent. Exactly. I mean, the only time that Ohio State has has been able to run their defense out has been against Ohio State. And, you know, while that's a good offense to measure yourself against, it's not a, a real live game situation. Jim Knowles, even, in, you know, even in the spring game, when, they, when they're calling things as, as live as they possibly can, it's still different. And there's still not the pressure and, and things like that. You're not facing an opponent that you're completely unfamiliar with, um, you know, week one. And so it'll certainly be interesting to see that. I think on the Notre Dame side too, you know, you've got a, a new coaching staff there as well. So that yeah, puts some pressure on Notre Dame, but it also it leaves something to, you know, sort of some unpredictability for what the fighting Irish will do. You got a little bit of a sense of it in their bowl game, which ironically was against Oklahoma state where Jim Knowles came from, but he was not he, a part of that game. So I think that that game has a lot of intrigue, even more than your average you know, week one marquee game, just because you do have a lot of newness in there. Everyone will be interested to see what Ohio State's defense looks like and, and if it lives up to kind of the hype that's built this offseason of that turnaround that the Buckeyes expect. And then obviously Notre Dame as well and what they look like under Marcus Freeman the first time he's been a head coach. So a lot of compelling stuff to come out of that game. And yeah, it certainly won't be easy. You mentioned kind of the bookend schedule of that. The, the Michigan game always matters, but it matters a lot more if Ohio State goes in that game undefeated, and that means getting that win week one to, to kind of roll through the schedule. 